little bit. We talked for like 15, 20 minutes, you know, when we met the first time at the co Company Connect um, Mixer. Shout out to the Company Connect, too. Um, but I, I really want to dive into your story a little bit more. So, like, let's start at the beginning, you know, reflecting the childhood. Like, when you look back on your childhood, what was what was it like for C coming up? Like, you know, tell me your family dynamics. Like, what was the, what was the origin of C really like? I was the black sheep. Mm. You know, I never really fit in anywhere. I always had a different mindset. Mm. Now I can't say if that was good or bad. I just knew I was different. In, even in high school, I was voted most scared to be different. Mm. And you can see where it got me so far. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But definitely, um, I was a different type of girl. Never really fit in with a lot of people. I always felt like an outsider. Um, not a good feeling, mm. though, you know. But I ended up learning that I'm okay with being who I am alone by myself and being in my inner peace and I'm right set in stone where I need to be you know I'm comfortable with who I am so being that way when I was younger it allowed me to create things in my head when I couldn't express them mm -hmm. you know so I'm over here just creating and learning and and teaching myself and just being and I was like okay I'm okay with being different so mm -hmm. let me be different even more mm -hmm. you know let me be creative even more so that's how I can sum up my childhood I grew up in multiple different places when I was younger and I seen multiple different things from mm -hmm. Cleveland from Edina to Akron so it's not like I got one um Help me out. One setting yeah, yeah, life, yeah. one yeah. Uh, it, was, it was diverse. It was you diverse. Were to a lot. You know, yeah. I wasn't just in one setting. My surroundings were constantly changing from right. my mother moving us. So I got to see multiple different things and became creative in my different settings. And I was very universal. You know, I was very I can't think of the word, but yes, it was just always changing. So um, okay, so a couple questions. Number one, when did you realize that you were when did you realize that you were the black sheep, number one? And number two, when did you realize that that black sheep was connected to being creative and you were able to express yourself creatively? You next to Mark? Yeah, for sure. Come on. Wait, listen, I listen, stop, stop, stop trying to play me. You already got a little dose. You already got a little dose. You know what it is. Come on now. We, we, doing, we doing our job. Come on now. Um, I figured out when I was the black sheep really at home. Okay. You know, um, I was the type of girl I just like to stay in the room. I'm in my own entire room, I never like to really be in the crowd. I got treated differently. So um, that made me feel like an outsider, kind of. And then um, I was always creative when I was younger. Any like little art thing or any contest that I would, we would do when I was like younger, I won. I won them. But I was so focused. Like I didn't have distractions around me because it was not like I had a lot of friends or, yeah. because I was different, mm -hmm. you know? So therefore, I'm just alone creating mm -hmm. like i said and that's when i can say i discovered my true talent of just you know being that one man band show and being universal and be, and, me, and being able to have multiple roles yeah. and like and master them yeah. as well so did you have somebody here that was like affirming you you know when you were in those moments of being by yourself working by yourself creating by yourself was somebody there pouring into you like no this is cool you don't have to my try granny. that's good that's good. Yeah, no, she was she was definitely great, definitely motivational. She made sure that I was okay with being myself. Yeah. You know, so that took a lot on me. Like that was like, okay, I can be myself, it's okay, especially around her. So like I wasn't really ashamed to be myself. Of course you can't you know, people when you were younger, you, you actually hide who you are. So mm -hmm. like being around her and allowing her to for me to express myself around her and make it easier for me to open up to other people. Man, it's it's so interesting that you the first, one of the first things you said was about being a black sheep. That is a, that's, that's something that's like reiterated here. You know, when I ask people, you know, talk, tell me about, you know, their early, early, ages. early ages, 90% mm -hmm. of people can relate to being a black sheep. And, and even myself, you know, um, just being different, thinking different, seeing the yeah. world differently, yeah. you know. Um, but I've always looked at it from a standpoint of being a leader because I didn't even always look at myself as a creative until in my, my adult age, I just thought that, nah, I don't follow what everybody is doing, so I'm just, you know, have leadership qualities. But the more and more I have conversations with creative people, mm -hmm. it is a it is a idea and a worldview of like feeling different and you know what I'm saying, not always fitting in, mm -hmm. you, you know what I'm saying, if you will. So that's interesting um that you that you say that. What what were you doing creatively though as, as a kid? Like you talked about creating. What was what was your forms of uh, creativity back then? Anything. You know, Drawing, like, painting, music. All of that. 
Yeah. Like everything was what I wanted to, you know, touch base on. It didn't matter um, what role that you threw at me. And I don't care even if I wasn't the best at it. I was different at it. People always try to be, okay, you don't have to be the best at everything you Thanks. do. But the fact that you are different, you're going to stand out and be pushed into the front of the line that somebody, everybody's trying to be best and do the same thing. You're, you're going to look exactly the same. You know, needle on a haystack. Just be that needle. Man, um, when I was a kid, I used to love to draw. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure where. Not I used to draw and color, like, all the time. Like, I have hella coloring books and just be in my book and my pad going crazy and somewhere along the lines I got away from it yeah you know what I'm saying and that's mm -hmm. that's typically a lot of people's stories as well and it sounds like you I drew clothing really yeah. at an early age mm -hmm. who was your um did you have any you know influencers co close to you like you know what I'm saying people who were creative that were, that were close to you um, was it your granny my grandmother not in a way exactly um it was more so just me you know, like just being in my own little nutshell for real and just liking to do things like something you can do alone and really good and be entertained by it. So, you know, that solitary game and stuff like that, like you play that game with yourself, you know, so it was more so like that. 